What's going guys, welcome back to the channel, and today is a little DIY uh, episode of Refresh Reaper. So for the longest time, I've wanted Kerber mirrors, and you're probably going to wonder, what does DIY have to do with Kerber mirrors? Well, I got an idea from someone, and you guys are going to probably cringe and laugh. So if you guys remember when I did my interior swap about almost two years ago, I bought a whole parts car, and it came with mirrors, of course, because there's a car. And all cars have mirrors, and all Mustangs have mirrors, so logic. I have spare parts, and I have spare mirrors, so... And you know that they're textured, right? They have like this little weird texture on them. Yeah, textured, not smooth. So my plan is to sand down those mirrors, and paint them, and make them look as close as possible to Cobra mirrors. And I got this idea from a patron, I forgot the last few numbers, I think it's 022. I did a, uh, I rated his car on my, uh, rate my subscriber's car series, and I was zoomed in on his mirrors, I noticed that they were painted and they weren't actually Cobra mirrors, so that's where I got the idea. He actually messaged me on Instagram, we were talking back and forth, and he told me that they were actually painted, for sure, and I'm going to have to try that out myself. And if you're wondering, one day I will get Kerber mirrors, but this is something I just want to try. I have spare mirrors, so why not? So clearly, it's late evening, so, not really late evening, it's like 5.30, which sucks. I hate when it gets dark this early. But, uh, good thing is, uh, should be not too long before we have uh, sunlight uh, lasting longer instead of getting dark early. So let's hope that comes quick. And I'm going to grab the GoPro so I can do a first person action of sanding and painting. Ah, it's super dark down here, super depressing, but one of these lights should come on. Usually once they warm up, they'll kick on, but yeah, it's, uh, lighting is not my friend. So coming over here, we have one mirror, and I'm thinking about doing one mirror first so I can get a comparison. But yeah, this is the, uh, backup mirrors that I have that, you know, they were just sitting here ever since I, uh, tore the parts car apart, and yeah, we're gonna tape these things up and see what we can do with them. As you can tell, I have some, some kind of paint collection going on over here, but we got semi not really rough sandpaper we got ultra rough i'm debating on which one to use first but we do have a couple cans of spray paint uh me need to go buy some more gloss cherry red and if you did not know gloss cherry matches my car almost perfectly that's what i paint my side scoops with and it's almost a perfect match for any performance red guys out there that has some perfect really perfect touch of paint so i'm assuming these things should not be too too terribly hard to sand down to make them smooth so I'm going to do my best, and we're going to see what I can do. Alrighty, I sanded the one mirror down as best as possible. It took me about 30 minutes to get it where it's at. There might be still a few rough spots, but hopefully it won't pop up when I uh, do the painting. But about to mask off the mirror, and I'm thinking about doing the red first, letting that set overnight, then taping it off and doing the black. But for now, I think I'm just going to do all the red. Then I don't know. I have no clue how I'm going to tape it off. I'm going to have to figure that one out. But I'm going to do that after the paint's cured on this thing. So I think I'm going to do it red first. Alrighty, got the mirror all taped up and free performance red, guys. This is the paint that you want for uh, touch up paint or whatever you're painting. Uh, it's good for like small stuff like mirrors and side scoops. I did on my quarter panel because it's already black and uh, bonded. But you know, nothing could work worse than, or look worse than black, uh, a black quarter panel. So it didn't turn out bad, but for small parts, it's definitely perfect. And if you want to put it on a brush, it's definitely a perfect touch up paint. For older paint cans, I always uh, test it first to make sure it doesn't spit. Okay, and this one's clearly not spitting, so yeah, always make sure it doesn't spit because if it spits on the thing you're painting, it can, you know, obviously ruin it by putting little specks in it, so always make sure I test mine first before spraying. Okay guys, here's what she looks like so far. Um, I wish it wasn't so orange peely right there, but it is what it is. I don't know if I should hit it anymore, make it any worse, but that's going to be painted black anyways. But this is what it looks like, and it looks pretty freaking good. Uh, there's a couple spots in there, but it's spray paint. You can't expect anything perfect from spray paint, but this is not bad for spray paint at all. So I'm going to let this dry for a bit, and we're going to do the bottom. 24 hours later, um, the mirror is cured, but another light burned out, so the lighting is even worse down here, so... 
Ugh. So I went to Walmart today, got some masking tape, because this tape, it's alright, but it's too sticky. So I'm afraid it'd mess up the paint, but this stuff is nowhere near as sticky as that. So got uh, some thick tape, and I got the thin roll, because I couldn't figure out which one would be best. I'm thinking about like doing the thin first to, you know, to do the line, then tape the rest with the thick stuff. But, um, yeah, the paint is fully cured. It's not 100% perfect, but it's spray paint, but it does look good for spray paint. And this, like I said, this spray paint is almost a 90% perfect match, maybe like 95% perfect. Um, and it's crazy for Rust-Oleum. So, like I said, performance right, guys. Go with that gloss chair. Right now I'm debating if I want to sand that any to give it like a rough, um, like a little bit of roughness. But I don't know. Um, I have PTSD over that spoiler. If you haven't seen my spoiler video where I was painting the curb spoiler, I went to put another layer of paint on it and it got all, um, it like all started peeling and bubbling and it just completely ruined it, but I don't know. I'm debating. Okay, so here's his car where I got the idea from. Here's his Instagram, by the way. But I'm trying to get an idea on how he taped it off. He had his buddy do it. So it looks like he just taped off a little bit of it. So... Okay, so I'm trying to get the idea, but that's what his looks like, and I thought it was Crow Mirrors at first. He fooled me at first, but yeah, I'm trying to get a good observation of this and see how it turns out. So once I tape it up, I'll be right back. So it turns out this tape was actually not wide. It was just two separate... <laughs> Walmart really ripped me off. Okay, so he sent me close-up photos, so I think I got it pretty spot on. It probably, it's probably not going to be perfect, but um... Yeah, it shouldn't turn out too bad, so hopefully the black has no problem sticking and hopefully it doesn't do any of that bubbly, peely crap like the spoiler did, but if it does, I'll just keep this uh, taped and I'll just have to redo it later on once it fully cures, but yeah, so that should be what it looks like in the end. So I am noticing a couple spots where it did bubble, but like I said, this is just spray paint, and I'm not really trying, trying, but this is more of a, an idea for you guys. Uh, like I said, I am gonna get OEM cover mirrors one day, but I just wanted to try this out. I had to try after seeing uh, Patrons, and it's not terrible. I mean, like I said, for a little cheap DIY um, cover mirror replica setup, it's not bad and if you really do take time with this and let the paint cure for a couple of days maybe a week sand it down where you want to uh paint it it will turn out better but i'm doing this all under one weekend so it's not gonna be perfect but it's just an idea for you guys to try out so i'm gonna let it dry and i'll come back when it's dry all right guys so the finished product on the one mirror i didn't do the other one yet i'm doing it before and after right now and it turned out amazing I mean, it's not perfect because it's spray paint. Uh, I'm sure if you take it to the shop and have it painted by professional painters, it'll look better. But for a little DIY, and if you buy mirrors for like 20 bucks and you can get the extra paint and sandpaper for an extra 15, this, you can get this to look pretty real. And if you don't feel like paying no four to $500 on curb mirrors, this is the way to go. It looks good, it looks that good, I mean, We'll take a look at it. Yep, and there they are. And Well, there it is. That's what it looked like. Fans, this is what it looked like before. And there is the after. Sorry, my phone did. But yeah, it's not 100% perfect. But you know what? That looks pretty close. And from a distance, you would not be able to tell. Or even in pictures. So, yeah, guys. This is what it looks like. Um... But as soon as I finish this one, I'm about to do this one. I'm not going to do it on camera because you already saw the process. But, yeah, it's going to look good. I'm going to definitely throw these on the car and see how it looks on the car. Like I said, that gloss cherry almost matches perfect with this car. If you haven't seen my side scoop video where I installed the Cobra Styles or newer GT style side scoops, I used this paint and it turned out almost perfect. You couldn't even tell that it was spray paint. So make sure you check out that video. It's not far down. I 
bought the uh, Saskatoon from a junkyard for a few bucks and yeah, it turned out pretty good. All right, so I ran into a slight problem uh, while painting the second mirror. The red turned out fine, but I waited uh, the next day, it's the next day. So we're like three, three days into this. So I waited the complete next day and I went to paint it black like the other one. And this was my worst fear. Gave me flashbacks from my Kerber spoiler, which we mentioned earlier. It blistered. But, you know what? I'm going to throw it on the car anyways. It's not too noticeable from a distance. Like I said, this is um, for video purposes. Uh, I'm actually going to get Cobra mirrors eventually. So I'll rock it for now until I get those. But, yeah, it's unfortunate. But it is what it is. So I'm about to go throw these on right now. Okay, so I know what the problem was. The red didn't cure for some reason. I waited the same exact time as that mirror took to cure the red part before I painted the black and... You can see it's all scuffed up from the just from the bag and the tape started taking the uh, paint off. For some reason the red didn't cure on this. I put the same amount of coats, but I don't know. It seemed cured, but I guess you should give it a little bit extra time just for extra precaution if you guys do this. So give it more than 24 hours. I'd give it two days or a day and a half. Um, but like I said, this is just, uh, for education to show you guys. Hey, if you don't want to pay that much money for cover mirrors, but you want that look. This is the cheap way to do it. Okay, so obviously here's the original mirrors. Uh, solid, uh, semi-gloss black with that rough texture. Um, so a lot of people definitely love the cover mirrors. Um, because it matches the paint of the car. And you can't, like, if you don't have a performance red car, it's going to be kind of hard for you to get uh, matching paint. Because I got lucky with a uh, gloss cherry. But... I'm sure you can go online or have uh, a paint shop uh, mix you up a can of uh, spray paint that matches your car good enough for, uh, you know, for the mirrors. And now she should be ready to pull out. And no, I'm not getting rid of these. These are going to be my spares, just in case anything happens. There she is. She is installed in. That's the messed up mirror course, but wow. From a distance, you can't see the imperfections in the mirror. But if you guys do it, I'm sure you'll do it right. You'll do it better than I did. But man, this looks good. I just need to get that fender matching, but ignore that. That fender is definitely darker than the rest of the car. But wow, that looks good. I'm actually pretty happy with that. The only thing that sucks is that it has the imperfections in it, but I can fix that. But for now, just to get an idea, it's not bad at all. Got the other one on and that one's in much better shape and it looks, oh my god, that looks so good. Man, that looks so good. Wow. And the, like I said, performance right guys, the match is so close. So close and it's not bad for spray paint at all. So guys, if you want curb mirrors but don't want to pay the $500 for them and the extra few hundred for paint, go for this. This is... This looks amazing. All right, there we go. Uh, so, one other thing I want to do. Uh, not really some of the major part of this video, but you guys always want to know what's changing on the car and what's happening. Um, I'm going to add this back on. And I took it off for a bit because I just wanted to see what it looked like. But now, I kind of want to give it back. Um, I peeled the old uh, plastic dip off that was peeling, put some uh, fresh on it. And I'm going to get a, a, a shiny black one one day, uh, probably from LMR, but for now, I'm doing the budget like I did with those mirrors. This is all about budgets today, boys. And gotta love Ford for making these special torque bit uh, type Allen screws, whatever you call them, to where you have to scrounge around for the one that actually fits and that's hard to find. And bam, I got need to get another screw, I need to find one, but for now, she's sturdy and that looks better. It's not super obvious like chrome but it's black and it kind of stands out but it doesn't stand out at the same time so i'm kind of happy with that alrighty guys so if you do those diy mirrors make sure you message me or uh, use my hashtag reaper gt on instagram i check my hashtags at the end of uh, at the end of every single video at every outro so i will definitely see them if you use the hashtag or even dm me i always check my dms not bad i'd say uh for uh new mirrors and all that crap it'd probably be about close to like 60 bucks i mean if you go to the junkyard and get the mirrors they go to walmart and get the paint um wherever you get your paint i mean like if you have performance right it'll be easy it's up to you on how you want to do your paint or you can even take them to a buddy and have them professionally done it's still cheaper than cover mirrors but yeah so a little diy uh, idea for you guys all right guys so that's gonna be the end of this video i hope you enjoyed uh make sure you like comment and subscribe 
trying to get the channel up to 5,000 subscribers this year. That's my one of my main goals this year is to reach 5,000. After that, if we reach that easily, it's going to be 10,000. Go and get those uh, big digits up there. Alrighty, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.